What's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of the Drift Games vlog. It's a weekend and we're here at Drift Games HQ or our garage, our new garage. We've got all the cars outside, you can see the 14, the MX-5, the 180 and the Crawler are all outside. And the reason they're outside is because since we built this garage, we did it for a reason, not only just to store our cars, but to also invite some people down to show us their cool cars. So you guys obviously want to see the hidden gems that are around Ireland. And we said if this is the first episode we're going to bring someone down, we need something very, very special. And I guarantee you, you will never have seen two cars like this before. What we're going to do is give a full walkthrough of these incredible sunny pickups. And guys, check these out. All right, we got Alan here. Alan, I haven't seen one of these cars before, so to have two of them is absolutely insane. And you're, this is your one, the white one. It's an incredible car. Talk to me about where you got the car and just tell me, first of all, what is it? Uh, what it is, is a Nissan Sunny Longbody. Um, it's just a stock 1.2, four speed. Uh, what year is it? It's, uh, it's actually 93, believe it or not. 93? 93. It looks like a, I thought it was a 79. That is crazy. The body style actually started in about 72, so it hasn't changed right up to 97. Wow. 92 or eight, 72 to 97, the one body style. Now the headlights were different. Now this actually came with square headlights, so I put the old round light back into it to give it that older look to it. So talk me through, when you got it, how did it look? What did it? It was eight inches higher, and just straight sides. There was a set of uh, Hitachi streets on it, and uh, that was it. That was just, a, it was that just was basic, it. and then you went mental. It was a carpenter in Japan that actually owned it. So it was a work. It was, it was actually, a work pickup. Work truck, yeah. Wow, that's really really that's cool. cool. So talk us through it front to back. How? What color was it? It's it's, it's, it was it, it's factory color. It's nice and low too. Yeah. And um, I wanted to kind of keep it old school. I liked a bit of yellow through it. I was going to change it, but this color just grew to me. So. so you went. Are these? Are these? These are not standard. Are they, they are right? standard, but they really? are, they were chrome. So, so you probably changed, changed them to I black. Went black with them, yeah. The front you changed to brown headlights. Brown headlights so this is yeah. like an older look on the front. Yeah, kind. yeah. And then your chin spoiler. Chin spoiler. Bolt on arches. Yep. So wheels. <laughs> wheels then. So the wheels actually were bought from uh, Yahoo Auctions. They're actually Keystone Target Racing TRO2. So a guy in New Zealand, Pine Engineering, in Adrian is his name. He actually took the wheels and made the offset for me. Wow, so like they're custom for things, yeah, 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 because they it's were just flat set. face. Yeah. Yeah. So these are custom, there's no other set like this no. in the world. That's wow. amazing. And they're a rare wheel to get anyway. What size is that? So the fronts are 18 or 8.5, 14, and the backs are 9 halves. 14. And that's a small little pickup to have big old wheels yeah. on, so they do fill the arches really, really nicely. So you've done, obviously it's absolutely spotless. Did you have to restore a lot of it and get parts for it or was it kind of uh, okay? When I actually bought this, it was all original except this quarter panel. This quarter panel of the dental was the only thing that was painted on it. But it had that old uh, solid paint on it and it was starting to kind of burn through. And these are known for rot. They yeah. rust out. So with all the stone chips and everything on it, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna freshen it up. So that's what I did. Wow. Well, because we're going front of it, we'll keep moving. Now, obviously the car is dramatically low. So this is on air ride. It's on air ride. So it's a uh, air, air lift performance uh, P3. So it's a proper good system. That but it's be. custom, it's, it's custom made. I did this in-house. Oh, now I'm assuming they, they didn't come from the factory with a lawn in the back. Um, no, they'll get from Japan like that. Someone threw some seeds in there. Where it was so coming early, so Alan is an avid golfer. So <laughs> just a bit, a, bit of, a bit of putt practice in the book. Believe it or not, I, my plan was to do the whole American thing because I was over in America for 10 years. And I came home and I was going to do timber with the chrome strips. Yeah, yeah. But my wife, she's very artistic and uh, she came home one evening and did this. So. She won. I she won. <laughs> <laughs> they often do. I think this is amazing and the net and everything. It's, like, it's so almost cool. like a football camp in the back, but I actually love the look and it really suits the car. It breaks up the colour. She turned into like a foosball table. That'd be so cool. <laughs> that'd be, yeah. that would be better than the game here. Like. <laughs> I actually use this daily, so the net actually serves as a purpose. You use this daily? It's, not, it's, it's not a daily just, car. It's a daily oh. car. Very clean. Yeah. It's very clean. For something that's daily driven. You know what I love about these is the, the latches for the back. Yeah. The way they actually come out like that, they're just so old school. Yeah. Did you have to replace the stickers and stuff on the back? So yeah, so when, so I, just I, say when I painted it, I was going to leave it flush and nothing on it, but I just thought it's cool with the long body the look, the look on it and the fact that it's long body. Long bodies are kind of hard to get, so... Uh, that is so good. Cool. Yeah, they're so good, aren't they? Ah, it changes. It changes everything. It's actually good space in the back of it. Yeah, clean. Like it's just nice. That like is that. very cool. I really like that. I really, really like that. 
And then inside, and these, these are very small inside, I imagine. Right, so the but seats came from uh, a guy over in Japan from Online Racing. Uh, the same guy actually got the Arches one. They are very nice and they fit almost absolutely perfectly with the harness bar. Yeah. That is like made to be. And it's so clean. It looks so comfy in there, doesn't it? It's very basic, very simple, yeah. And obviously Nardi wheels, so all the kind of very JDM stuff that... Carbon Nardi wheels. You say carbon? Cool. Look at okay. carbon Nardi wheels. Very nice. What's Josh want that now? I, I do want that now. <laughs> it's very nice. Can you pop the bonnet? We want to have a little look and see. I know it's only a 1.2, but it's a very light car. Absolutely spotless. So it's a, it's a wire tucked? Uh, semi. semi. Just gonna give it a bit of a look. It's up. Yeah. It's like, look, is this all smooth? It or? is. Yeah. yeah. Normally it has like seams and and, and, and like sealer spots and whatever. So that's absolutely yeah. immaculate. What's it? One point two. One point two. Yeah. But it's a very light car, so it is. It is. Like if you put a one point two in a modern modern car, it's not going to go anywhere because there's so much airbags and safety. And this is just it doesn't even back on the car, so yeah. it's very very light. Do you know what it weighs? I don't. I no. would imagine it's sub 1,000 kilos. Oh, definitely, to, definitely. Like probably 800, 850. Yeah, like I took, I, it came with AC and I took it out because the AC compressor actually took up this big hole here. So I took that out, took all the lines and everything out. And believe it or not, since doing that, fuel consumption is way less. Really? Yeah. That is like super clean. This is cleaner than the outside of my S14 in the inside of this. So that's incredible. It's cleaner than the M4 on the outside. It probably is. <laughs> that's that's point. Point. Thanks, Mike. We've, yeah, we got the point. Whoever <laughs> paints your cars is terrible. You paint my car. <laughs> That's a good point. At least you admit it. But I think this is like, nah, it's just it's a perfect looking car. I like the way down the chassis like here, just the way it's all smooth and just yeah. like, the finish on it. It's just ridiculous. Like. But what I, what I love about this is that it's a daily car. Yeah. So to me, I was like, this is definitely a trailer queen. It just no. comes out for one it's show. Lock in the shed. Yeah. Yeah. Lock in the shed, cover over it. No, well, the whole purpose behind this was I was in America for 10 years, uh, do body and paint. That's all I've ever done. So you did all the body paint yourself? I did. Yeah. Everything on this start to finish was me. Nice. So when I came home, I needed to get, get noticed because I wouldn't be known. Yeah. So I was like, what can I get that's going to draw people's attentions? So I went looking and then I saw the original look to these and I was like, that I even, I even, I even <laughs> like that. Yeah. So I actually went shopping and it took me six months to buy this. Wow. So and then fun. I bought this and I had it shipped here a year before I came home. Where did you find it? Or what did so it there was a guy it? named Brendan over in Japan, Japan Car Auctions. And me and him, we just dealt with each other for yeah, a certain time. And he actually messaged me about this, and he says to me, "Listen, you will not find a cleaner one." I had a budget, and um, he says it's a bit above your budget. So he told me, and so I genuinely didn't think it was as clean as what he was making it out to be. And when I actually came home and saw the only thing painted on was a right rear quarter, I felt bad that I was going to have to chop it up and yeah, put arches and stuff on it. But I had everything bought for it. So and I had this vision, you know. So and it turned out absolutely unbelievably, and. To remind people, so this is a 93, which means it's not even, it's not even classic yet, no. but it is commercial. It is commercial, yes. Because it's a pickup, yes. so that's not too bad. And this, we always remind you guys, if you're not in Ireland, that the tax system in Ireland here is, you know, if you have a nice car, it's like 68 million euro a year to run it. So we try and get around that by having older cars or having something that's commercial and they're less taxed. So this obviously is a commercial, so it works perfectly. It's like my Corolla. That's why, I'm, that's why I like the Corolla more than everything, because it's cheaper. Yeah. Old but, is better. Old is better. It's, it's a little loophole in Ireland it. that if you have an old classic car that's uh, 30 years, it's over 30 years, it's classic, which means it's 56 euros tax a year. Put that in perspective, if you had a 2.5 litre, say, uh, Skyline, and it, was, it would be 1,600 euros, 1,500 euros tax, maybe something like that, or a chase or something like that, whereas you go right down to 56 euros once it goes 30 years. So that's why a lot of these older cars are getting super valuable in Ireland because they're just getting to that area now where they're either commercial or classic, which means you can actually afford to run them as a weekend car, even though Alan drives this every day, you can run them as a weekend car where some of the bigger, higher horsepower stuff is very difficult. That's why a lot of it ends up in drifting. So there's a little uh, lesson for you. Alan, thank you so much for showing us the car. It's absolutely awesome. And we could finish the video there and say that is definitely enough content for everybody, but we have another one, which is even more uh, ridiculous to have two of them in the same place. So let's have a check on this one. And Alan, thank you very, very much for showing the car. Yeah, thank you. We interrupt this video to give a very special shout out to one of our partners here at Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. Mobile One Oil is used by some of the best drifters in the game, such as these guys. As you can see, even I made the cut into the best drivers in the game. What? So yeah, Mobile One is used by the best drifters in the world and me.
Okay, so we've just checked out Alan's incredible white sunny pickup. Now we have another sunny pickup, which I've, again, I haven't seen one before, but Darren here has another one, which is slightly different. Obviously, it's the opposite color, you know, Michael Jackson, black and white, but we have got the uh, short body on this one, which is not the same as that one. But what we'll do is the same thing again, we'll go front to back, because it's slightly different, but kind of the same. It's yeah. kind of a style yeah. you go with. So what year is this car? Uh, that's a 93 as well. How are they 93s? They look like yeah, they're in the 70s. When I first went to buy this, I actually, the first thing I seen was 93 and I thought, Jesus, there's something wrong here. Not a way a lot of lads. Yeah. Kind of, between cams, they go top plates and things, whatever. I think that can't be right. I was a bit nervous about buying it. But um, yeah, no, it's, I looked it up. It's, it's, I think 93 was the last year of production. And uh, yeah, no, it's. So definitely the one I jumped the on it. with the least rust. It's the last one. The least one. rust, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's the last one. <laughs> so talk us through. When you got it, how did it look or what was it? It was white. It was actually the same color. It was. It's very same white as this Right, so here. it was totally white. Yeah, yeah. And um, I just said I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I believe me, it took a long time to pick a color, you know. But uh, I kind of wanted to keep it classic looking. So black and chrome was the, the theme I went with. It's a lovely look on the car. And then sort of similar stuff, both on arches. Yeah, it's the same, the same company, um, only in racing in Japan. He does the, the Skyline front as well. I don't know if you've ever seen the, the Skyline front. Front, yeah, yeah. The Circle, yeah. He does the same kit. Um, so he and then these are on, and I know these wheels, they have these wheels, so these are SSR meshes. That's right. Perfect, except these are super more aggressive. I was going to say, they're ridiculously aggressive on the back. They're aggressive on the back. What are we expect on the back of these? Um, I think they're nine and a halves on the back. Nine and a halves on the back. And they're actually made up of four different wheels to try and get them worried. I was know. just about to say, they look reversed. In they're, that's dish, exactly, yeah. yeah, they're reversed. Frank's the same wheel, kind of. Yes, yeah. exactly, yeah. <laughs> they look really, really cool. And this is the short bed. Yeah, that's the short bed, yeah. The short, so it's, I think it's about a foot shorter, not even a foot shorter. That's mad. And then this was air, you can see the air ride in this one, because yeah. it's very, very clear here in the back. So you have a full air ride system to get it so low. Custom shotgun exhaust, is it? Or just shotgun exhaust shape, on the yeah. back. Yeah. Well, we won't, we're won't. we not going to talk about the, the party piece of this car just until we get there. Because that's, that's the, the, the last reveal of this video is definitely what's powering this. But um, inside, I love the wooden wheel. I think that's just such a good classic yeah. piece for them. It's very nice, isn't it? I've gauged it as well again. I'm just have it. That's so clean. Cool. Was this originally an automatic? No, she was no, a... It looks, like, it looks like a different uh, clutch pedal or a very aftermarket. Yeah, so I had to put in it because the SR20, I had to put in a different clutch. Okay, we we'll let the secret right now. Let's yeah. go. Let's, let's, let's see, I'm going to have to ruin it. Top, top the bonnet, this, <laughs> this is the party piece of this car for sure. This is the bit that I've been looking forward to seeing. Oh, yes. Now, I've always said that the SR20 can look quite small in an engine bay. That is not the case here. This yeah, is absolutely, absolutely yeah. massive. It is the so yeah, yeah. this is not just, this is a very well built car. So talk us through the, the powertrain and the engine that you put into it. Uh, so it's an SR20 out of an S15 um, NA, obviously. I didn't really want to go with the turbo. I just kind of wanted to keep it classic Nissan, yeah. you know. Um, she is, all the wiring was done from Bob at Motorsport 56. He's done a lovely job, he was nice and tidy. Um, and then I got tracked in TDP. What power is it making? It's 175, I think. That's a lot in a very small car. For a light thing like that, that's perfect. A road car as well. I think it'd be too much for the chassis if you put any more power in it. It would actually yeah. make it less fun because it's, it'd be too uncontrollable. But I, I think a lot of people have a soft spot, you guys probably do, for an NA version of an RB or an SR because yeah. it's kind of like a screaming engine, but it still has the noise kind of of, of what engine you're used to with a turbo car. And then you've obviously wrapped the manifold, you've done all. Is this right? This run a Link ECU? Link ECU, Link G4, I think it is. I could have went with a bigger ECU, but there's not really a whole lot there, you know. That's the thing. So Link do a number of different stages. That's and right. I was about to say, it's basically adding more sensors, but because you don't have, you know, turbos and everything else. Big gauges and things. Yeah, they're they're not, not pushing it too much either. So, you know, it yeah, is it's a kind of road cap. It's one of those things where it does not, it's going to do what it's going to do every day, yeah. rather than boosts up and down and things going wrong and all that kind of stuff. So that's the perfect ECU for that car. And I imagine it's a lot of fun to drive now. Yeah, it's kind of more like a go-kart, to be honest, than, than a car. Like, it's just stuck to the road. It's just stuck to the road, nice. yeah. Nice. And well, that's the thing, it's, you, it's a very light rear end on these. And is it that stock, uh, so you have an SR20 gearbox in this? SR20 gearbox, and um, so I had to do it because the gearbox is a bit longer than the, the standard gearbox that was in it. I had to put a new tunnel, weld a new tunnel into it, and the gear stick actually came back further in the car. It's still it's okay, it's, it's still very comfortable to, if you can see it there. Yeah, it's not too bad. I can see it there. So it's actually, yeah, the gear stick is like back a little bit. Back a little bit, yeah. With a custom tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's very cool. And is it stock rear end from the Sunny? Uh, stock rear end, yeah. Standard axle and things like that. I have to get the drive shaft and things made up, obviously. I don't know, I think that's, that's almost perfection. I mean, this is... I think the NAS R20 is literally the perfect option there. Like, you could go... I would say 20 valve crawl engine, you could go beams, yeah. but the SRNA is actually a nicer choice, I think. It's actually a yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, I know, I agree that you put the, the twin cam engine into it, but I kind of want to keep it in the Nissan family. That's the thing. As I was about to say, you're jumping out of, you're putting in a, you know, it's all Nissan now, start, yeah, start yeah. to finish, which is really, really nice. And the thing about the, the NAS R20 is you can find them anywhere. Like, yeah. They're throwing at the back of the away. They don't the, like, yeah. the unwanted baby of yeah, the SR20 yeah, family. So there's but, any amount of them there. And that's the thing, and, and also, I just think the power delivery of, of an SR20 is very nice. Yeah. NA, like I, I said, I've only ever driven one with my turbo. Boost, get, boost came off, and I was like, it's actually quite nice to drive. They sound well, yeah. They sound really well yeah, when, they've no, when they've no yeah. boost on them, but that's really, really good. Thanks, Darren, for showing us the car. That's absolutely yeah. insane. The two cars are just ridiculous. And uh, for having two first cars in our you know, new Drift Games HQ to kind of show you, guys, show you guys some cool cars from around Ireland, we couldn't have picked two better. So the most important thing I want to hear in the comments now, which I don't know if Darren's going to want to hear, is which one would you take? Would you take the white one or the black one? So let us know in the comments below which one would you take. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell on so every time we bring cool cars like this in, you can see it. Also, we've got the new Hoonigan range on our driftgames.live shop, so make sure you check that out. We'll see you on the next episode.